Um, first thing first, I'll go ahead and draft out the pattern. So now I'll mark the shoulder, divide my shoulder by two, I'll mark that down here. And from this point, I'll mark the slope by one inch. I'm going down by one inch. I'll connect this to the neckline. If you notice, I changed the marker to red. So I'll go down by eight inches for the armhole. My round armhole is 16 inches. Divide this by two, you get eight inches. Now I'll connect the slope to the armhole like this with a straight line. And I'll also rule a horizontal line from that point. This is where the armhole will be sitting. So yeah. Moving to the points, I'll go ahead and mark my boss point. This is 10.5 inches from my shoulder. So place your tip on the shoulder and find out how many inches. Um, you place the tape from your shoulder to your boss point. That is your to your nipple sorry that is your bust point so this is the bust now I'll go ahead and mark the waist point and this is 17 inches from this is actually not the waist point so the length of this top is acting as my waist point my waist point is 15 inches so but the length of the top for me is 17 inches so my waist point or the length is going to be acting as the waist point I'll go ahead and rule an horizontal line and then we are done with the points. Now I'll go up by one inch like this on the armhole just to create a curve. I'll go up by one inch and then I'll use my curve ruler to curve this out like this. Easy peasy. Now I'll be moving to my round measurements. I'll divide around my I'll divide my round bust by four. And then I'll mark this down. I'll add one inch for the allowance. So yeah, this is one inch. 9.5. I'll go down to the waist and then I'll do the same thing. I'll divide my round waist by four. And also add one inch allowance. Now, I'll go ahead and connect the actual measurements with um, a straight line. I'll take this to the armhole straight like this and now I'll be using a different color of marker to mark the um, allowance I added on this pattern and that is it so this is the back pattern also I'll be cutting out the back neck line on this pattern so the back pattern is just going to um, guide us into cutting our front piece so i'm not going to be drafting out the front piece pattern i'll just place the back pattern on the fabric and it will guide me in um, getting the front piece so i'll be showing you guys how i was able to achieve the cow neck this is really very easy very very easy now i'll go ahead and take one inch down this is the depth for the back neckline and the width for this top is 3.5 inches for me i'll connect both points together like this with a curve slant so i'll go ahead and cut out the neckline so this like i said is the back piece that's the back pattern and this is just going to guide us into cutting out the front um, piece. Um, so this is chiffon. This is the fabric I'll be using for this um for this video. So this is chiffon light. It is really light and it is see through. So for that reason, um, I'll be cutting out two pieces from this. Um, the front is going to have a facing and I will be using the same fabric as the facing. So I'll be cutting out two pieces. 
now go ahead and fold this into two and place my pattern so you guys this is the trick um i'll place my pattern at the uh, folded edge and then i'll move the shoulder like this why the waist still sits on the same point you can see i'll move it like this and this is how I create my cow neck. So the more you, the more further you move this, the more deep it gets, and the more wide the neckline is, the cow neck um, becomes. So if you want it to be moderate, you don't don't move it too much. But if you want to really get that, you really want to get the deepness, you can keep moving. So you fold out your fabric really well, and then you just keep moving the pattern till you get to the points that you are okay with. So I'll go ahead and pin uh, my pattern like this and then I'll be using my chalk to trace this out I'll just go ahead and trace the armhole, trace the sides, trace the neckline I'll use my free hand to get a straight line like this on the neckline I'll make sure I follow everything um, in detail i'll make sure i trace this out in detail i'll just trace both the armhole i'll trace the side i'll trace the um the waist where the waist is that's the base so this is it guys this is the front piece and this is the cow neck so follow these steps and you're going to get the same results i got now i'll go ahead and remove the pins so this is it guys as you can see the shape this is the, this is the waist this is the armhole this is the neckline Walking around in the circle of life Doing the things I know Walking the same ways a hundred of times With the same soul Looking the other tribe But don't keep the right side Put it up in your mind Looking the other tribe But don't keep the left side Put it up in your mind so I'll just indicate because the f this fabric looks the same at the front and also on the back so so I'll just place my the, um, the pattern on a freshly folded fabric and then I'll cut out the back piece so now the back is just going to be the same as the pattern I'll go ahead and remove the pins and um, this is the back piece. So remember to cut out two pieces. Um, if you want, uh, if your fabric is light, I'll see to cut out two pieces. So you'll be having the facing and also the front piece, and you go ahead and sew them together. But then, if you don't want to go through this process and your fabric is thick enough, you can just you know use one piece and you hem, you just hem the neckline. So I'll join this together. And then I'll, I also went ahead to hem the neckline for the back piece. 
so while i join the front piece together i'll go ahead and attach this to the to the back piece and that is it for this video you guys that was easy right so and then i'll also attach my sleeve also so i'll go ahead and attach the sleeves and that is it you guys so see the neck this is the neckline this is how deep i want my to be and it came out just exactly as i wanted so i'll go ahead and attach my sleeves and that is it for this tutorial or oh, that is it for this video you guys i will be uploading a video on how to make this complete outfit and that video will be next thanks for watching you guys you guys are really amazing i'll be seeing you guys on my next video bye Talking about the same old stories they've heard About the people they think they know Maybe a tribe up on the right side Put it up in your mind Maybe a tribe up on the left side Put it up in your mind It's gonna be hard I'm here